Oh. Oh, good fish. Ah, oh, he's off. Shoot. Oh, wow. Wow. Here's the crap out of him. They are very aggressive and they'll attack this thing. We know from the study of marine biologists that spotted sea trout or speckled sea trout move significantly within, in, within an estuary based on the seasonal changes that are happening to them biologically as well as the seasonal changes within the water. So water quality, water temperature, all of those things are affecting how much trout will move in an estuary. And especially in the spring, they are on the move. So in late March, my son and I decided to take a trip starting high in the estuary, fish down the estuary, and to discover where the trout might be along that path. First fish, small one. But oh, we're out for another session, morning session of top water in a shallow lake. Actually, the same place I fished last week, and uh, that's just a little guy, but that's the third blow up I've had. So it's very foggy here. This is what I would consider perfect conditions, light wind and fog. This is ideal conditions for topwater baits. Oh, there's one on. Wow, as soon as it hit the water, I had that one. I don't think this one's too big, but it hasn't come up yet. It's bigger. Head shaking going on. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. Ah, beautiful fish. Check out that baby. Now I started in an area where I knew trout had been the last few weeks and water temperatures had come up significantly so I expected them to be on the move. Again. 12 inch male. It's croaking. It's a double D. Texas Custom Lord. So I got a caught one on a twitch bait. Texas Custom Lures Double D. So nice little 12 incher. The topwater bite was really strong when we first got here. It was a lot calmer, then the wind picked up, and the bite pretty much died just like that. So we're switching to some other baits. Hopefully this twitch bait gets me some more fish. So it's got a popping cork. I'm getting yeah. little guy. Nice 13 inch fish. Pretty fish. Yeah there seem to be a lot of these small trout in here. Haven't caught anything significant. A lot of small ones. But we're about to Go do some exploring, head south down the estuary, see what's going on down there, see if the trout have moved down there. It is 78 degrees in this lake. So we know that salinity is critical for trout, but primarily in the spawning season. And that's because eggs float at about 17 PPT. If they hit water that's lower salinity than 15 or 17, somewhere around there, then the eggs will sink. And when they fall to the bottom, they will die in that anaerobic conditions of the mud. So the trout always look for the higher, higher salinity water to spawn in. 
And the spawning season in Louisiana starts some, sometime in May and it ends in September. So the, however, this year, the females that I have seen that I have harvested are already starting to develop the eggs. And this is only March. Good hit, good fish, huh? Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, nice fish. That's definitely a nice fish. Yeah. Go back for another one of those. So when you do an experiment like this, if you're just one boat and two fishermen, you can't do a very broad uh, survey of what's going on. You can't stop at every spot. So you kind of have to pick a few spots where you think are likely to catch fish. Uh, it, it might also be that uh, you can you, you see where other people are fishing. So you have an idea that, okay, the, there must be some fish there. You can stop and canvas that area a little bit. Oh, came off. So on this particular spot, this was a quite a nice ideal spot. Uh, this is a, a bayou dumping out into Lake Robbins. So Lake Robbins, a large lake. Uh, and then that's going to lead out to the sounds. And this particular bayou was uh, quite a good habitat. There was a lot of bait in there. There was even birds diving on shrimp at one point. And this area really held some fish. And we, again, we're not fishing for limits. We're not trying to see how many fish we can catch at all. We're just trying to stop, do a spot survey. So we stop, uh, we, we uh, try to catch some fish, see what's there. Sometimes it's just a bump, whatever, just to let us know that something's going on. Uh, and so this spot was particularly good though. This whole bayou system seemed to have a lot of speckled trout in it. Uh, was uh, very nice to see that. So they had moved down a good 10 miles uh, from, from where I, we were catching them before and right on the edge of the outer bays. Now when we got out into the bigger lakes, we started to see some poor water quality, so still some brown water, could be river water blown in, uh, and the islands where we stopped, uh, looking at cuts and, uh, and uh, points and edges of islands, they were pretty much empty of trout. However, when we got down, farther down into around the long rocks of the Mr. Go, we started to run into fish down there. There's a fish. There's a fish. What do I have? What? Yes, it's a nice trout. It's a nice trout. Damn, it's a nice trout. Really funny. Oof. It's a nice trout. Ripshed, Rappel of Ripshed. Whoo, so happy to see that. All right, very happy to see that one off the long rocks. It was a nice, uh, about 19, 18, 19 inches. It wasn't a huge one, but very glad to see that one come off a jerk bait along the rocks. Didn't really have a good run of that last year. So I'm hoping this year I'll be able to do that. So there should be trout along the rocks here. There's so much bait. There's a lot of mullet. Like, I mean, the larger mullet, but also the immature is like four inches, five inches, plus a bunch of smaller, maybe anchovies. Like bay anchovies, there's one. Whew. 
another one on the jerk bait man is that sweet so these guys have plenty of food to eat right now along the rocks here and they seem to be responding very well to a jerk bait it's not really surprising that's what they're eating I mean that I'm assuming that because there's so much there's so much fin fish here now that area the water salinity is around 10 ppt it was it was 10 ppt at the on this particular day and so you might ask how did I know the salinity well I was measuring the salinity uh, again we didn't stay for a long time so I don't know exactly uh, I don't have a good estimate of how many were there but the fact that there were some present and even in the middle of the day which is probably not optimal you could see that they had moved quite a ways down the estuary and but but interestingly though they were still at both 1 ppt water salinity and 10 pp water uh, water salinity so that entire breadth of water salinity they were still there and so one conclusion you can draw from that is that you know right now salinity is not as important as it will become and until they are required to get into that higher salinity from spawning they're not necessarily just going to be in the higher salinity water uh, a lot of it's going to depend on the bait but uh, hey if you like the video give it a thumbs up share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you in a week or two